Dr. Chris Sutton here. Welcome to the first video in a series of videos looking at treating the upper face with toxin. I will be sharing with you some unique insights to my own practice, some useful case studies and some interesting literature out there that's informed my practice over the years and I hope will help to inform yours. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, let's talk brows. Uh, brow repositioning, brow asymmetry can be a big issue for a lot of patients um, and this is a nice case where you can see what is achievable with toxin in some patients in order to manipulate the resting position of the brows. So if you look closely at this lady pre-treatment you can see how the right uh, both medial and lateral brow are both quite significantly lower than the left and this was starting to annoy her. She didn't like it in pictures and photographs and things like that and wondered could we do something both to improve the uh, brow symmetry but also you know, use toxin to improve the things that we usually use it for to improve fine lines, wrinkles, texture in the upper face. So, um, and you, know, you ask yourself, why, why has this lady developed such significant um, asymmetry? Uh, I think that when you see the dynamic uh, images, so this lady making a frown pre-treatment, you can see, if you look closely, how the medial portion of her right corrugator was, is a little bit stronger or even significantly stronger than the left. And you can see how it's able to pull the medial portion of her brow down more significantly than the left. So what I've done in this case is a couple of things. Number one, treated the glabella in the usual way, but used a little bit more toxin to treat the medial uh, corrugator and the lateral corrugator on the right with a slightly increased dose. And additionally used a little bit of toxin on the right sort of medial or middle portion of the brow rather uh, in order to manipulate orbicularis oculi a little bit in order to improve the position of the lateral brow trying to improve the appearance uh, of the asymmetry in this lady's case. Um, additionally she was a, a nice case because not only was I able to improve the position of her brow of her brow asymmetry but also the nature of her frontalis muscle uh, and its anatomical distribution allowed me to both treat frontalis to improve the appearance of sort of fine lines there while also being able to manipulate the position of the brows when treating glabella and orbicularis oculi uh, in the way I've demonstrated here. So yes, we can use toxin to manipulate the position of the brows definitely. Not as easy in every patient but in this particular sort of distribution of muscle uh, it worked really nicely. Okay, so let's look at the exact pattern of injection that I used to achieve this result for this patient. So let's start with glabella. So when uh, we look at Proceris, you can see I've used five units in Proceris. Um, then on the right, slightly stronger, more hyperactive uh, right medial corrugator, I've gone with five units also. Then on the left medial corrugator, slightly weaker, the resting position being slightly higher than the right, I've gone with three units. So remember that the uh, muscles of rounding, so Proceris and the corrugators are depressors. So by injecting a little bit more toxin in one versus the other, we'll get a slightly more elevated resting position, which has obviously been done purposely in this case. When we look at the lateral corrugators on the right, slightly lower resting tone position, I've gone with four units and then just two on the right. That gives us a total dose of 20 units into glabella. Then when we look at what I've done in terms of the middle uh, upper portion of orbicularis oculi, you can see I've done two uh, injection points um, into that area, just underneath the brow in this case, to give us a little bit more uh, appearance of elevation uh, after the treatment has kicked in uh, in, in the mid brow region. Um, and contrast that to not injecting that on the other side in an effort, as I've said, to achieve this improved symmetry with the brows. I hope you enjoyed this content. If you did, hit like, subscribe and share to see a bit more.